the faster cancer cell isn't always the better cancer cell. For years, the field has used the speed of cancer cell movement in a dish as a substitute for how efficiently they can metastasize. This concept is being challenged by recent experimental data, and this paper illustrates that perfectly. In a population of cancer cells, some will be faster and some will be slower. What the authors did here was to separate the fast movers from the slow movers, let them make progenies, separate the fast and slow cells again, repeat this process for several generations until they had great-grandchildren of cells that are super fast and really slow. Then, they put these cells into a mouse to see how well they can metastasize. And guess what? The slow cells metastasize better. Now, how could that be? The answer or answers may tie into how we fundamentally think about cancer cell metastasis. Slow cells and fast cells can roughly translate to epithelial and mesenchymal phenotypes. Epithelial means they stick to surfaces better, they stick to each other better, hence they move slowly. Mesenchymal means they're more singular, so they move faster and are able to pass through tissue barriers. It was believed for decades that epithelial to mesenchymal transition is crucial for cancer cells to metastasize. But starting around the mid-2000s, various groups are finding that lone cells, even if they get into the bloodstream faster, just can't seem to settle and propagate in the distant soil. Because these cells might be stuck in mesenchymal and cannot transition back to epithelial to grow into a new tumor. The emerging concept is that cancer cell metastasize requires cells that can fluidly transition between the two states, or what is clinically seen to be more dangerous are clusters of cancer cells that are a mix of epithelial and mesenchymal, where the mesenchymal cells can lead the way to cross tissue barriers and the epithelial cells are better at latching onto the new soil to start a new tumor colony. Clusters of circulating tumor cells in the bloodstream have been found to be 50 times more dangerous than single circulating tumor cells.